Now, I'm proud of everything the UK is doing to provide immediate relief. We're one of the top four donors to United Nations crisis response. We've doubled our aid for Palestinian civilians with an additional £30 million. Pounds. We're clear that Israel has the right to defend itself. It has been attacked in the most brutal manner possible by an enemy that hides itself in hospitals. It must also act within international humanitarian law. The situation on the ground is truly tragic and getting worse. We're pressing hard for unhindered humanitarian access in Gaza and for urgent and substantive humanitarian pauses to get in food, fuel and medicine because the suffering of innocent civilians must end. We're also leading the way in helping Ukraine get its grain out through the Black Sea and into the hands of those in need. But because the scale of the global hunger crisis is so staggering, today we're going further, providing up to £100 million now for the worst hit, particularly across East Africa, the Sahel and Afghanistan, and in countries like Malawi, which are reeling from climate-related cyclones and drought. Yet, as everyone here knows, simply responding in the wake of a crisis is not enough. Climate change, conflict and population rise mean ever greater challenges to food supplies. So we need a fundamental shift in the way that we approach food security with a focus on long-term solutions to stop food crises before they start. 